but it's not like a zombie it's not a, it's not a zombie film that you would think hold on there is a hair on my eyelash is bugging the shit out of me I can't like I can see it I just can't reach it nope that didn't get it hold on that's gonna bug the shit out of me there creepy peeps and welcome to another movie review today we're going to be talking about Pontypool directed by Bruce McDonald um hmm, what to say about Pontypool <laughs> it was definitely an interesting interesting concept um basically Pontypool is I guess you could say it's a zombie film of sorts. Basically, we're following a radio show host, his producer, and his like audio technician as as they're producing their show and a what appears to be like a zombie virus outbreak happens. So they're like kind of covering the story as it's happening but at the same time they don't really know what's going on outside uh, so they're kind of just they're getting calls in from their weatherman who is outside and he's able to tell them what's going on and it's all everything that's happening is all very strange so Pawnee Pool is not like any other type of zombie film I don't even know that I would call it a zombie film, but it's just, I don't know, it's similar in like, kind of like the outbreak kind of way. So basically what it is, is a virus that spreads through speech. So <laughs> it's like, it's like s certain words or something are infected with the virus and then when somebody says it to another it's not it's not just when somebody says it to another person it's like when the other person like tries to understand the word that's when they're infected it's the strangest thing like <laughs> it's it's the strangest concept for a movie so and it's like it's even stranger to watch somebody get infected because they'll they'll like say the word and then they'll kind of keep repeating the word and then the word gets like jumbled and or they get the word confused and and then all of a sudden they turn into a zombie like thing and the whole thing is they have to pass it on otherwise they kind of like I wouldn't say like explode but um the audio technician or whatever she is, uh, Laurel Ann, uh, gets infected in the radio station first and they lock themselves in the sound booth, uh, cause they can't, they won't, you know, they can't hear her say anything and she can't hear them. Uh, and since she's unable to like hear anybody and unable to like pass this on, she kind of just like kind of beats herself to death against the <laughs> the glass of the sound booth. And then our radio host Grant Mazzy and his uh, producer or director or whatever, Sydney Breyer, are like the only two left in the radio station. And I mean, they find. I, and they, they pretty much find like a cure to it, I guess. Uh, Sydney is getting infected and it was the, it's like the, it's the word, uh, does it kiss or kill? <laughs> it's so confusing to think about. I think it was kiss. And so Grant keeps saying like, kisses kill, kisses kill, kisses kill until she like understands 
kill to mean kiss and then that fixes her <sighs> I don't know um, <laughs> apparently this is based on a book um, by Tony uh, Burgess or Burgess I don't know however you would say that name uh, who's also uh, one of the writers for the film so maybe I need to read the book <laughs> It's just, I don't know, It's it was just, it's not that I didn't understand it per se, it was just strange. It was just strange. Um, and I can only imagine uh, this, this story was also broadcast as a radio play, um, kind of similar to like um, War of the Worlds, how it was broadcast as like a radio play. Um, so I can only imagine. <laughs> how that went over. I wonder if there's a way you can like listen to that anywhere. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, it was just, I don't know, it's just a very like, I keep saying strange, it was just really strange and interesting concept for like a zombie type thing. Again, I, it was more just, it was more like a virus type movie. It's like, just go, just go watch it, I guess if you haven't. <laughs> I feel like you should just experience it. Uh, just let it happen to you. Um, yeah, so overall, I, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Pontypool. Maybe I need to watch it again. Knowing what I know now about the movie, like, maybe I need to watch it again. I don't know, it's all very strange. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you've seen Pawnee Pool and what you think about it. I'm very, very interested <laughs> to see what everyone else has to say about this because I just thought it was so, I don't know if I liked it. I don't, <laughs> excuse me, um, I don't know if I liked it. <laughs> this might be one I was on a roll too with like uh, with these movies, like really liking them. This one I'm not so sure about. I don't know that I disliked it either. I just don't know if maybe the movie was enough time to describe what's supposed to be happening. That's why I kind of want to read the book and see if maybe it gives you a little more information on that. That's the beauty of <laughs> that's the beauty of books. You get you can get much, you can get way more information in there. So maybe I'm thinking the movie wasn't so, like, they didn't have sufficient time in the movie to like really describe what was going on. So maybe that's why I don't really understand it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of my face, hear more of my voice. And thank you if you are subscribed already. And until next time, stay strange. Bye. <laughs> I, uh, it's, 